better. And uh, OK, let's go to the third part. How to understand the electrode and the electrolyte interface by in situ STM. OK, first, uh, we improve the, the, the commercial SPM system. That means by the improvement, we can get a, a very stable and a high resolution atomic image at a solution. And then we also can put this system in a glove box. In this case, we can change the environment. For example, no oxygen, no humidity. Uh, in that case, we can uh, use STM in solvent, in organic solvent. So can understand the property in, in, in the solvent uh, environment. So first, I'd like to introduce uh, organic pattern to how to use in situ STM to understand the surface structure. First, the organic nano patterns on gold or on surface by the chemical deposition. You see, here is a cyclic cyclic voltangram of nitro benzene. You see, nitro benzene. This is the chemical structure of nitro benzene. Uh, this molecule also be said dangerous because here is a not here containing a nitro function no group. Uh, here cyclic voltangram you can find a paired peak and here is a big peak. All of the chemical reaction is corresponding to this equation. Here is first, uh, here is second, and the third. And this one. We put a gold 101 electrode into this solution. Then, by using STM, we can understand the molecular structure on this surface. Here's a large scale STM image. You can see the surface is very flat. Here is a high resolution STM image. From this STM image, you can see first, here is go to one one substrate. That means, in this case, the molecule will solve on go to one surface. Here is the orientation relationship between the molecule of the layer and the go to lattice. Here is the molecule of nitro benzene at the layer. You can find that always is a very big, bright spot with a little bit darker, smaller spot. So according to STM image and the theoretical calculation and also the feature of this molecule, we can understand that the bright one is corresponding to the benzene zinc, and the smaller little bit of dark spot corresponding to this functional group. And according to the distance and the orientation of the molecular row, we can decide that in this case, the molecule will take a vertical orientation on gold one one surface. Here is a, uh, the, the structure is a root three by root three structure. Uh, and here is a, a structural model like this one. The molecule will take a vertical <laughs> orientation on surface. And then we, in this, ca in this case, we get this STM image at the potential near this area. We call the double layer potential region. After getting this stable of the layer structure, we scanning electrode potential from A, B, C, D, and go back to A. Here is a serious STM <laughs> image, uh, just uh, consistent with the uh, potential change. Here you see is A, the well-defined structure. Here is B, that here, the surface, you can see a lot of uh, molecular cluster appear in the potential region. And in C and D, to D, you can find a lot of molecular, like molecular nanowire on the surface. And by using high-resolution STM image, we can understand the, the composition of the nanowire. For example, at the potential B, you can find like this one. Yeah? If you just enlarge this part, you can find this part 
actually consist of a lot of spots. Uh, if you uh, observe carefully, you can find uh, this is a triangle, triangle. A lot of triangle composite this relief. From the chemical structure of nitrobenzene, we can understand that in this case, the molecule from the vertical orientation on the surface now become a parallel, parallel orientation on the surface. The three bright spots in this group just a benzene zinc corresponding to the nitrogen uh, uh, nitrobenzene molecule. The molecular form a well-defined layer on the surface, but uh, some, somewhere is not only one layer, maybe third layer and uh, fourth layer. So we measure the uh, height, we measure the uh, height of the, uh, the, the, the uh, molecular uh, the layer. For example, from here to here, you can see here is the first layer, second layer, and third layer. Here is the fourth layer. That means just the molecule just piled up on the surface and form this molecular wire, this one. Okay, here is a schematic illustration how the molecule forms this molecular wire. At the double layer potential region, the molecule just stand up a little bit tilt on the surface. But with the electrode potential scanning negatively, the molecule will down lie down on the surface. So here is a, re, um, we call the reconstructed lie on gold one surface. Here, the surface energy is very really higher. So the molecule like to go to the reconstructed lie uh, in this area. So from this molecular wire and the total surface energy will be uh, decreased. We also, Major other uh, system in solution. Also, on gold wire one, here is uh, also in another solution. The supporting electrolyte solution is uh, uh, this solution, uh, perchloric uh, acid, and uh, here is the pure acid. Here is the molecular structure of uh, pure acid like this one. Here, uh, three uh, nitro group. Uh, you see, here is a cyclic or tangram. You see, one, two, three peak. The three peak just corresponding to the three functional group. Here is the STM uh, in situ uh, observation result. You can see with the electro potential scanning on the surface. Here is the W potential region, no electrochemical uh, reaction, no electrochemical reduction process. So about the 0.5 volt, uh, here is about uh, 0.36 volts. You can see the surface a little bit uh, flat, but in this case, some part uh, become bright. That means the molecule uh, go together and form uh, some wire, and also go to more negative potential region. You can find all of the uh, bright uh, molecular cluster just uh, along, go along uh, in one direction, uh, just in one to one direction. Uh, here. At last, in the 200 millivolt, all of the cluster from well-defined molecular nanowire on the surface. The length is very higher, is larger, longer than several hundred nanometers. And the uh, wideness of the nanowire is uh, uh, six to seven nanometer. And also, this wire is very stable. In this case, we get this image in solution. If you just uh, put out all of the solution, expose this structure in air condition, and then you use STM to image the surface, you can still find the existence of the nanowire. You see, nanowire is still here. And if you load down the STM tip, to contact with the nanowire, and then we can measure the IV curve. You can find that this curve is a typical uh, semiconductor, organic semiconductor. If you put tip in the gold one surface, 
you get the every curve then like this. Yeah, this is a, a typical uh, conductor uh, curve. Okay, go back to the electrode surface relative to the fuel cell. As I said, we prepare a lot of platinum-based alloy film. For example, here is a platinum uh, iron film. In this case, we first measure the electrochemical uh, performance of this film in this solution. You can find in the first peak, uh, in first cycle, little bit of peak. After the second peak, the surface, the, the cyclic or tangram become very stable and no other peak can be found. This corresponded to the different electrochemical process. Okay. Here is a STM observation result. First, just a fresh platinum iron film. We prepared this film by a PVD method. After the preparation of this film, we put the film on electrochemical cell. But in this case, we didn't fill any electrolyte solution. Just the pure film, you see, the surface like this. And then we put electrolyte solution. That means we put the perchloric uh, acid uh, in the electrochemical cell. Very fast, immediately, we find the surface become very rough. Very rough. And then we cycling the electrode potential from uh, oxidation uh, potential. That means we cycling from, uh, from here to here and then go back to here. Here is oxidation, here is reduction. Okay, and uh, after uh, 10 potential cycles, we just wait, we just wait. In this case, we hold the electric potential as the WL potential region in the uh, 0.5 volt. So you see, after 40 minutes, we do nothing. But the surface, the, 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 the uh, platinum atom on the surface always move. After 40 minutes, you can see some part you can see like a, a like, like the step H. Okay. After almost one hour, you can find in this very big area some part very beautiful, well defined terrace appeared. Yeah. By using high resolution STM image on the terrace area, you can find in this case the polyfilm now exposed to a platinum wall one surface. The structure just a platinum wall one, one by one structure. Uh, you can find the individual platinum items like this one. Okay, so that means the in situ STM is uh, very useful. Can see the surface process during electrochemical reaction. And uh, also use this technique we can understand the SEA formation. I think for the lithium ion battery study, the SEA is a very important surface electrolyte interface because the thickness, the position, and the other morphology will be affect performance of the lithium ion battery. So we did a very simple experiment, just uh, uh, put a graphite in this solvent. I think in lithium ion battery, in particular the commercial lithium ion battery, the graphite is a well used materials. We put these materials in this solvent and then by using in situ STM to see the surface change. Okay, here's all of the experiment conditions. Here is the experiment result. You say, at the WL potential region, that means no electrochemical reaction, you can see the graphite is very beautiful. In the very large area, you can find here a step line, and also you can find the 
atomic image corresponding to carbon atom on the surface, let's say. And uh, we put uh, different uh, additivity to the supporting electrolyte. We put uh, DC, uh, ECDMC, and ECDMC, and DEC. Uh, because all of the additives can have different role in the supporting electrolyte. I think uh, uh, people can understand this. Okay. Uh, first, you say, just put DEC, here is cyclic voltangram. You can see here is a big peak. Uh, here is a big peak. Uh, here uh, is a reduction of oxygen, something like this one. Okay. So you can see the surface change at a different uh, potential region. For example, here, from here to here, at first uh, the surface is flat. But uh, if you go to the negative potential region, the surface here will be rough, and uh, here rough. However, if you go back to the original uh, potential region, the surface will partially be covered. OK, here is the process in this case. And uh, we also, uh, you say, slow down the scanning rate from uh, 5 milli Watt per second, you can find the first here, like this one. The potential is 2 Watt here. Here is 1.5 Watt. Here is also 1.5 Watt. Uh, just wait. Uh, at first, that means the potential at first is near here. The surface, like this one. If you go back, Go, go to the negative potential region, just uh, crossing this peak, the surface become rough. With the time uh, lasted, the surface become uh, rough and rough. If you go back to here, the surface recovered almost uh, to this electrode potential. That means if you go to electrode potential here, the surface is a reversible surface. The structure will be remained. We also uh, studied uh, HOPG in different other uh, solvent with EC and the DMC, cyclic water like this one, say. You also can find the, the same story. We observe the structure uh, from one volt to two volt in this potential region. At first, uh, at two volt, the surface will reflect, but if you go back go to the negative potential region to one volt, you can find that the surface will be damaged, you see. And we also measure the uh, height uh, be from here to here. Here just uh, one graphene earlier uh, height, you see. Here is a little bit higher. It is not uh, only one layer, maybe two or the three layers, OK? Here is another example from 2 volt to 0.7 volt. That means one layer of the graphene will go out from the surface. You see, first uh, here, the area will be uh, enlarged. So this part will be damaged. And then go to here, OK. All of th this part is dissolved in the electrochemical process. And here also the uh, same process. Uh, also in the other uh, solvent is the same situation. So from the STM experiment result, we can understand the uh, morphology change during the electrochemical reaction. If not so negative potential region, the Graphene, the the graph, the the graph, the graphite, uh, the layer will be remained. Some solvent will go into the underneath. But if the electrode potential go to uh, negative potential region, some part will go like this one, uh, and some part will 
go to the underneath. So some part of the graphite will be damaged, and some part will be rough. Okay. Now here is a summary of this part. And uh, we also develop a method to measure single, not particle, electrochemistry. You say sometime we can uh, prepare like this compound uh, and use this compound for the, the cathodic materials. In this case, this compound, the particle is not so big, very really smaller one, but uh, how to understand the electrochemical process in this part, uh, in this surface, we uh, develop a method, say, uh, for example, here is a nanoparticle. Nanoparticle, the structure and the morphology like this one. Some surface will be exposed outside. Okay. So we try to use SPM technique to see the surface morphology at a defined facet. For example, one one facet, one zero zero, zero facet. Here is a preparation for the sample. Because the nanoparticle is very smaller, and the facet is also very smaller. So how to uh, fix the nanoparticle and the facet on the surface? We use this soft material and put this nanoparticle on the surface after uh, several uh, replacement. We can get the surface like this. In this case, all of the nanoparticle is fixed on the, the template. In some part, you can find a well-defined nanoparticle. From the morphology, we can understand this big one is corresponding to one one facet, and this part is corresponding to one zero zero facet. You see, here is a wideness about one micrometer, and here is a five or ten micrometer. So this very smaller nanoparticle can be fixed on the surface. And then, because in this case, the nanoparticle is stable on the surface, you can carry out, uh, perform SPM uh, measurement. Here is a cyclic thermogram corresponding to one nanoparticle. You can see different electrochemical reaction peak appear here. However, we try to understand the, uh, what happened on the surface. You see, at first, uh, if you don't put any electrode potential, you say, here's a one or one facet, here's a one zero zero facet. After the electrode potential apply to the nanoparticle, you say, here's an open circuit potential. In this case, in solution, the surface like this. Here is a 4.5 volt, and here is a little bit of, uh, positive, uh, here to negative potential region. You can understand the 100 facet almost no change, but the 11 facet have a lot of change, in particular in negative potential region, you can see on this one. Uh, here is a, another part. Uh, you can say during the electrochemical cycle, here is a one zero zero. Here is a one uh, one one facet. Uh, almost the same situation. The one zero zero almost no change, no change. But the one one surface changes a lot. Okay. <coughs> we also can understand that in this case the thickness of the uh, SEIFL. Uh, here, just uh, put, uh, go here. Uh, you can see SEI first formed about uh, 4.78 watt. And uh, also, SEI will be stable during the first cycle in this solvent. And uh, in one zero zero surface, no some obvious height change during the first cycle. That means almost uh, uh, is insert to the electrode potential. 
and uh, no SEA film in the first cycle on the uh, one zero zero surface from this experiment result. Okay, we also can measure different, you say, uh, big one like this uh, one one facet. You can see uh, at first uh, is very flat, and then if you uh, apply electrode potential, you can find uh, the surface is very active. And then we can, by using AFM tip to scanning in this small area, and then the SEA film will be taken out, uh, and uh, the substrate will be exposure. Then we can measure the height the SEA formed on the substrate. Here is the experiment, you see. The thickness of the SEA formed in the first cycle on gold one surface, the film is uh, about uh, four to nine nanometer because it's not so flat. So, so the highness may be four to five. Okay, and uh, also the bared uh, one one surface is covered by the uh, regenerated SEA layer during the second cycle. That means after uh, just uh, take out uh, the first layer of the SEI, and if you go to another cycle, this part uh, will be covered by new SEI film. Okay. So here is a conclusion. Here is a conclusion for the all of my talk. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, all of my colleagues. I think uh, some uh, professors like uh, Professor Yu Guo Guo and uh, Professor Dong Wang uh, join to this research, and some other students also have contributed to this research. And uh, at the last, uh, I'd like to give a brief introduction about uh, the Institute of Chemistry, Chinese, of, uh, Chinese Academy of Science. First, uh, this institute is located in Beijing. I think uh, maybe some people don't know where is this institute. As I said, located in Beijing, just in Zhongguan Chun of Beijing, near to Beijing University and uh, Tsinghua University. I think people know Beijing, Forbidden City, Great Wall, and uh, some other famous uh, building. And uh, now, this institute, uh, the, the search, uh, total research, about uh, 550. And uh, also, about 1,000 PhD students. That means every year, uh, about 200 PhDs P200 uh, students can get a PhD degree f from this uh, institution. Uh, same. And uh, publication. This is a uh, very older data, you can say. For example, in the year of 2011, uh, the institute uh, published about uh, 700 papers, uh, including, I think, 10% of paper published in uh, Science Nature, Peanuts, Jacks and uh, Angus Simi, and uh, advanced materials. And uh, also, other 50% uh, paper published in the, like, uh, analytical chemistry, GPC, and the GOC, and uh, some chemical communication, advanced functional materials. And, uh, okay, welcome to uh, Institute of Chemistry. This is a new building. Okay, we moved the new building two years ago, and uh, maybe from next year, the institute will uh, build a new building here. I think much higher in this smaller one. Uh, so thank you very much. <laughs>